Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of prime print solution. In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow to create a thermoforming model. We will guide you through the Serex software and the InLab model app up to the InLab CAM software. To create a thermoforming model, we switch to the Model option under Indications and tap Working Model. Next, under Material, we select the corresponding Prime Print Model T option. We select both jaws and switch to the Acquisition phase. Because the focus of this video is on the workflow, we already performed all scans earlier and can proceed directly to the model phase. In this phase, the Start Design App button is displayed, which we will tap. The corresponding app opens automatically, and the case has already been opened. First, we click the Dense Splice Serona icon on the upper left and save the case. The model app contains three phases. We start in the Prepare phase with the Clean Model step. First, we open the Select Construction Type option from the Page Palette. For our case, we switch to the Thermoforming option. This change reveals further steps in the Step menu. However, in this step, we begin with the Clean Model tool. We will demonstrate how this tool works with the lower jaw and therefore hide the upper jaw for now. We begin with a double click at any point of the line and keep placing single clicks until we reach a point where we finish the modification with a double click. Here, we also skip over the rest of the cleaning for both the lower and upper jaw models. And next, you will see the finalized corrected models. Additionally, after cleaning, in the window under Tools, different parameters can be determined in regards to the model base height and expansion. As soon as Apply is tapped, the base will be calculated. Since the splint is made for the upper jaw, we will limit our focus to the upper jaw for the remainder of the tutorial. In the Define Insertion Axis step, the axis for blocking out the jaw can be set. The undercut depth is visualized by a gradient from light green, indicating a low depth, to dark red, indicating a great depth. The insertion axis is displayed by the yellow arrow above the center of the jaw. It can be adjusted either by moving the arrow or with the disc and the orange-colored ball at the left edge of the screen. By tapping Apply, the insertion axis is confirmed and we switch to the last step, Check Blockout. This step has three tools available. With the Form tool, you can add, smooth, or remove wax. We go to the next tool, Reservoir. This tool allows blocking out areas. To define this, we start with a double click. Keep placing further single clicks and finish the area with a double click. Now we come to the last tool, Parting Line. This tool makes it possible to create a parting line with specified height and width around the model. There are two different ways of doing this. You can adjust the splint contour either by defining a line or with the second option, Create by Plane. The plane can be tilted with the yellow disc. With the yellow arrow, we can move the plane. Then we tap Apply to finally determine the parting line. 
By switching to the design phase, the parting line is displayed. As in the previous step, the same three tools are available here again. We will only focus on the third tool once more. This allows modifying the parting line once again. The process is the same as described before for defining a reservoir. To begin, we tap the left mouse button on the line so that it is displayed in green. We start with a double click, keep placing single clicks if needed, and finish with a double click. By tapping the user interface outside the model area, the tool and parting line are automatically disabled. Now we switch to the final phase. Again, there are three tools available, Form, Carve-Out Model, and Text Label. It is recommended to create a carved-out model in order to save on resin material. The Prime Print Model T material has a high level of strength and temperature stability. Therefore, it keeps its form even when carved out. By tapping Apply, the model is carved out according to the specifications. Next, we proceed with the Text Label tool. To be able to better assign the model to a patient, for example, we put a text of our choice on the model. The text is put in place with a click of the left mouse button. We close the tool and switch to the last step, Export. Here, different export options are available. Provided the PC with the InLab CAM software is connected to the same network and the CAM file order has already been determined, the model data can be seamlessly exported to the InLab CAM software by tapping Export to Manufacturing. Alternatively, the model data can be saved to a storage medium or in STL format. After the InLab CAM software is opened, all cases previously transmitted are displayed. The thermoforming model that was exported earlier is already selected. Here, we can either select the so-called Fast Track by tapping the double arrow, or we can switch to the next phase, the Arrange phase. Fast Track will take you directly to the last phase, Produce. In this case, the InLab CAM software automatically positions and orients the print object on the building platform and also defines the support structure automatically. Detailed information about the InLab CAM software can be found in a different video tutorial. We click on the double arrow and can modify the detail level in the window under Production Options and analyze the print object with the Analyzing Tools to finish the process. To start printing, we tap the green area labeled Start Production. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Prime Print Solution.